Hey guys, what's up out here in Boulder, Colorado for a quick weekend of hiking and hanging with friends. I put together a how to set up a tent video. Uh, it's really basic. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments below. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you next time. We're out here in Northern Arizona and I'm gonna teach you how to set up a tent. We have the Big Agnes Bunkhouse 8 that we're gonna set up and it's huge. So if you could set up a giant tent like this, you could set up a backpacking tent or a smaller car camping tent. But there's three things I wanna go over before you set up your tent. I call them the three L's. Is the ground legal to camp on, level, and look up. The next step is going to be to drive in our stakes. To drive in your stakes, you'll need something hard. So you can find rock from close by. You could use the back edge of your hatchet. You could bring a small mallet or a hammer with you. Before you start driving in your stakes, you need to first make sure that you've pulled the tent taut at the bottom. there will be little pockets in your fly that you have to put the end of the poles in to keep it taut. Sometimes there's also straps on the inside, Velcro straps, that you attach your fly to the pole. The other thing on most modern tents, you'll have a male clip on the fly and a female clip on the base of the tent. And all you do is clip it in. All right, after you get your fly clipped into place at the base, these are called guy lines. And what you do is put some tension to it, put it in the ground with the stake, and then these ones are nice because after you put it in, you can adjust and make it tighter. You do this all around the entire tent and it keeps the fly in place in high winds and also keeps it from flapping in the middle of the night. If you're lucky enough to have a vestibule, it's a great feature on a tent. And in order to put it up, then what you do is you pull the, the, the vestibule portion tight and you're gonna stake it into place. You just wanna make sure you don't pull it too tight because usually there's a zipper on the vestibule. So you'll wanna be able to use that door and make it function properly. All right, so a couple things to think about when you're putting away your tent. Some tents come with a stuff sack where you could just grab it and push it in. This one has got a nice big back with a couple compartments. So I'm gonna fold it in thirds or quarters, depending on how big the bag is, and get all the air out when you roll. If you do have a stuff sack where you can just stuff your tent down, I like to first put in my poles to get them out of the way of the bag as I stuff it in. And it also gives the bag some form, which will allow you to push your tent in a little easier. At the end, you just work slowly, put some weight on it, and all the air will come right out. Sometimes you can even pop a zipper and get some of the air out. <laughs> All right, I told you it was a basic video. Like I said before, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments below. Like and subscribe and I'll get more of these out. See you next time. I just really love vestibules.